So we had these two programs drop yesterday, the great race of 98 with this Mark McGuire at the end. I'm excited for the Mark McGuire, but does anyone else think that they kind of did Sammy Sosa a little bit dirty for a 99 overall Sammy Sosa? This is just not a card that I really would want to grind for. And another thing I kind of want to mention and see if anyone's on this same page. We have the great race of 98 pack right here, right? It's just a pack. For reaching 100 so you're not guaranteed the rare round there's 399 overalls in there and i know they probably couldn't do this for every single pack every single program that's released but i would have liked to see a pack like this where maybe non-sellable but you're guaranteed to be able to choose a rare round player out of the great race in 98 pack i think to me that would have seemed like a better option to put right here instead of just the pack with not even a guarantee at the rare round but Maybe they don't want to be right away given a rare player to everybody, but if it's non-sellable, I don't think that that would impact the price of the cards that much. They're currently going for 150,000 stubs, so I don't think it would have made that much of a difference. Who knows? Maybe they would be like 30, 40k if they had given us a guaranteed rare but non-sellable, but with this doing Sammy Sosa a little bit dirty this pack not being a guaranteed rare round i don't know if this mark mcguire is really worth it for me i sucked with the one from the collections and maybe this one's better maybe they gave him a different stance a different swing but if it's the exact same swing then i'm probably gonna suck with this card too and the august monthly awards program i feel like this is typically the case where you know no one's really using the other players maybe on some theme teams i was pretty happy with this julio this looks like a good card if he's anywhere near as good as the home run derby one from a few years ago I'm gonna love them. It seems like we've had a lot of outfield lightning cards, but maybe that's just because that's the players who are playing the best. But in my opinion, you know, they have this collection for the event, the Great Race of 98 event going on, those rewards. I think they should have given us just a normal pack in here. I'm not saying, you know, I wanted two guaranteed rare rounds or anything like that, but why not throw in the august monthly awards program just a great race of 98 pack in there too maybe entice people to play that as well i just think that could have been a good addition and i can't think it would have hurt the price of the cards that much i know sds wants the cards and the packs to be high because people spend money on that i get it you know they're a business but why not throw in a great race in 98 pack make people a little bit more willing to want to grind the program even if they don't think they're gonna use the julio there would still maybe be something to go after in there but then again i guess these are set four cards so you know even though there's not a pack in there maybe the reason to grind out that program even if i don't think i'm using julio is because there's set four cards in there so i could just play collect the show 23 and grind these cards out to use them towards one of these three bosses because that's really what it's feeling like this entire year it seems like so many of the cards that get released they don't even want us to use it's literally just a middleman between me and getting the cards that i actually want to use and i don't necessarily think it's a terrible system but at this point in the year it feels like I'm just doing the same thing over and over just to get the cards ripped away from me and have to repeat the process all over, grind for some 97s that I can collect for the 99s, and I'm just tired of it. Like, for me, that is not a fun way to have my MLB The Show content, doing that same process every single season. By season four now, I'm just kind of tired of it. So I'm going to start by doing the moments, probably the monthly awards ones, just start with these. But I think after I finish the monthly awards, and oh wow, there's a lot of them. But I think after I finish those moments, I'll probably do the moments for the great race of 98. I got to assume, I haven't actually checked the moments for that, but I got to assume those are all just hit a home run or hit a certain amount of home runs. I kind of want to see that now before we get into it. Are these all hit home runs? Okay, so no. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. You're using the cards from the program. I didn't even think about that. Then, yeah, once you get towards the end, you got some more homers. But I forgot that there were rewards in there that they could have moments from our first moment of the August monthly awards using Mad Bum, the first captain card. We got to just strike out six hitters. There's one. There's two. There's three. Struck out the side. We got three more to go. There's four. And there's five. 
And there's six, and we got it done, but that Mad Bum card was not feeling good for me. And I didn't even mean to go on that little bit of a rant to begin this video. It's just kind of how I've been feeling with MLB The Show recently, so it kind of just happened. And I am interested to hear what y'all think about everything. We're on to our next moment, playing as Gary Sanchez. Got to get four total bases. There's four total bases. We got the Gary Sanchez one done. We need to strike out two batters without giving up one hit in one inning. There's one strikeout on three pitches. He's feeling way better to me than Mad Bum did. I was having a terrible time getting perfect releases, trying to time up Mad Bum's release. So we got our two strikeouts. All we got to do is get one more out without giving up a hit. And we should have this moment done. Only a couple strikes to go. And there we go. Struck out the side even. So we're right on to the next moment, flying through these. It did seem like there were a lot. And the monthly awards moments, we just unlocked a card. We've got him the two captain ones. And now we just need to pitch one inning without giving up a run. And Jojo Romero, I know it was versus three lefties, but he breezed through that one for me. I might add that card to my theme team for the Cardinals. Maybe I should just start playing some ranked seasons games with that team. Do that as a video once per week. I think that could be kind of fun doing just an all Cardinals. Maybe we could try to throw in some challenges or just a way to make it into a little bit of a series now we need to tally four total bases with a zach geloff jelloff i don't know how to pronounce his name maybe it's zach jeff and the l is silent i'm not really sure well i think we got it done that's got to get over the fence right there we go okay so far these moments haven't been super bad but i don't even know if we're even a fifth or a fourth of the way through them Got Zach Geloff. Seems like we're unlocking a player as we go. Strike out three batters. Pitch one inning with Eric Swanson. Uno. Dos. E Trace. Can you tell I've been working on my Spanish a little bit? Me gusta baseball. Now we're using Max Kepler. Gotta get two hits. One extra base hit. That should be a hit. Yeah, there's a hit. It's going to be an extra base hit. All we got to do is get one more hit in these next few ABs, and we got this one done, too. If, if This is a hit. Yeah, no, he's not making that. That counts as a hit. We should have this one done. There we go. Got that one done pretty easily. On to the next one. On to the next one. Let's see what the next one is. Pitch one inning, striking out two batters with Yusei Kikuchi. I think that one should be pretty easy, too. We're kind of running through the pitching ones right now. Yo, his, <laughs> his motion threw me off. I started to pull down. I assumed, I, yeah, his double leg kick just threw me off. I wasn't expecting that. There's one of the strikeouts. And we got it done. I'm happy that was a strikeout because if it wasn't, I still would have needed a strikeout. On to the next one again. We've got on a lot of the cards. So whenever maybe I do a conquest map or play the events or whatever, I'm going to have some players to use to start getting that parallel XP. Jake Berger needs to get two hits in one game though. That's going to just go, right? I think it's a homer. If Aaron Judge would have made that leaping play... Now we just need one more hit. That's gone? I was sitting here like, oh great, I just failed the moment. I'm going to have to do it again. No, oh, we hit a home run somehow on that swing. Okay. I'm glad we got that one done. Strike three hitters while also pitching two innings. One strikeout. Two strikeouts. And we got the three strikeouts. Just got to get through this inning without allowing a run. And we got that one done too. We unlocked Max Kepler and now we're using Luis. Gotta get two hits, one extra base hit. Well, there's the extra base hit. Pretty much guaranteed. Now we need one more hit and we got this one done. And there we go. We got it done. On to the next one. Striking out two batters with Sam Henkes. I'm glad none of these are super, super long. That's nice at least. And we got that one done. Two batters, two strikeouts. Pretty easy for us right there. I'm actually curious how many we have left. Am I maybe more than halfway through? It looks like it. Yeah, we're right around the halfway mark, it appears. Maybe a little bit past it. Josh Lowe got to hit one homer. I want to say this is it. It's not. Okay. Maybe? 
Okay, that's a home run. This card was having no pop for me. I was struggling to get this one done. I just kept hitting it off the wall. I think I had three or four when I was pulling the ball off the wall. Ryan Mountcastle, one game, and we got to get three hits. Well, there's one, the very first pitch we see. That should be hit number two. Yeah, there we go. I thought maybe it would be caught at the track. Only one more hit. We got this one done. Oh, God. It dropped. Okay. I mean, I had two lineouts before that. This was at bat number five in the seventh inning. I'm wondering if that's programmed into the moment. When y'all were doing the Mount Castle one, were the Orioles just running up the score, getting you as many at-bats as possible? See, this is the type of moment I don't like where you got to strike out seven hitters in one moment. That just seems unnecessarily long. Well, there's one. There's two and three and four. Oh, that was a kind of nasty sinker dropping on the top of the zone like that only two to go striking out harper we need one more and there we go we actually got it done that was not too bad his motion wasn't my favorite and his pitch selection wasn't my favorite but we got the strikeouts anyways we got jake berger teoscar hernandez needs a hit with an rbi i'm pretty sure that's the hit <laughs> Imagine left fielder just somehow dove and caught that. We got Teoscar's moment done. And yay! Oh, I'm so excited to strike out five batters. Three. One. Two. Three. I feel like I'm counting how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. Four. And we got the five strikeouts. Only five of the August Monthly Awards moments to go. Tally two hits, one of them being an extra base hit with Adam Duvall. But we were ready for that one. Off of the monster, and we got it done, there we go. And our next one is hitting one homer with Mitch Garver. Maybe I should just fake myself having fun on the moments, you know? Kinda like, fake it till you make it, fake it till you have fun with MLB the show, yeah man. Oh, I can't wait to hit a homer with Mitch Garver. We're going to send this ball flying. Let's hope he sends us a meatball in here. I'm ready for it. I'm going to power swing. Oh. That's not even a great swing. And this card is so glitchy. He's sending it out of here, I guess. We got that one done. I think we only have three to go. Moving on towards the end of the monthly awards moments. Let's see if we can get through them. How many more? We got three. Pitch one inning. Don't give up two runs. Just looking at Rysel Iglesias' motion right here. He looks like he could be kind of nasty online. I think it might be a 98 overall card. But for relievers, 98 usually plays. And with that delivery, I can't tell yet. I would have to see it for my own eyes. Face him for myself. But... It's looking like, especially on the higher difficulties, that release point can maybe get people some trouble. And we got that one done. Only two moments to go. We're using Kerry Carpenter. We got to hit one home run. The very second pitch we see, and he just smacked it out of here. One moment to go. I'm guessing it's using Julio Rodriguez. I'm interested to see what we have to do for it. If I had to guess, it would be hit a home run or with his RBIs, maybe drive in a run. But no, it's going to be get on base three times. Should be pretty easy. The first pitch we see with him, we get to see the bat flip on the card. Am I going to be able to see the distance or no? 432 here in Kansas City. Yo, that swing felt really good. The very first pitch we see, I, I know it's the moment and everything like that. Like, look at this PCI. It's massive, but... His swing's feeling pretty good to me. I'm thinking I'm going to like this card, kind of like how I liked the home run derby card. I think that should get down. Probably going to be a double. Should we just try to see his speed? No, I'm just going to stop at second. We're on base twice. And there we go. We got all of the August monthly awards moments. And it took me, I think, just under an hour, like 56, 57 minutes, maybe right around there. Now I want to take a look at what we actually have to do. So four total bases. It looks like we're just using the cards from the program, doing a moment for each of those. And once we get that done, once we get to Sammy Sosa, then yeah, Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire just hit a few homers with them to cap it off. Okay. I thought there was going to be more of this with sammy sosa and mark mcguire for the moment so i didn't actually realize how many of the you know the 97 overall cards they were going to throw in there i also really was expecting i was thinking they were going to only have 98s because it's the great race at 98 program i thought that would have been the perfect program to have 98 overalls 
leading up to the 99s, but Sammy Sosa, that's pretty much a 98 right there. That's not a 99. Well, we just got four total bases on one swing. We didn't even need to get a double. We just got the homer. And we got that moment for Eric Davis done. And tomorrow's video Sunday is going to be a pack opening. But would y'all want maybe a second upload later in the day where I try to finish the moments for the Great Race of 98 program, kind of like we did for today's video? And even when I get all of these moments done, I'm at 44. We still got to get 56 more in that program. And this one goes all the way up to 150. Oh, it's going to be a while before I even have the cards that I want to use.